Hello and welcome to get for Tech Chats. The aim of this format is to deliver a short presentation on our products in five minutes. This presentation is about how to create new formulation opportunities with melt extrusion using solid lipid. Hot melt extrusion is not a new technology. It has been used in the plastic industry for decades. However, its use in pharma is more recent. Hot melt extrusion has many manufacturing advantages. If you look at this slide, you can see this is a twin screw extruder. So one of the key points is the fact that it is a continuous process. As you can see here, the material is feeding into the twin screw through the hopper. The material is then conveyed into this twin screw and there are different zones. One is the melting zone, the other one is the mixing zone, and then gradually this mixture is homogenized and then discharged through the die. Generally, the extrudates are milled and then remixed with other excipients for further uh, steps like compression, but also these granules can be filled directly in hard jet and capsule. Pharma plastic polymers are generally used to improve the dissolution and solubility of polysoluble drugs by making this solid amorphous extrudate. On the other hand, if you use solid lipids, it's another approach where you're dispersing your drug into these crystalline extrudates. The chemistry and structure of lipid excipient is completely different to plastic polymer, and therefore their comportment in hot melt extrusion is also very different. The key advantages using solid lipids remain in the extrusion temperature, because these solid lipids have low melting point and they are not requiring any plasticizer and they have a low viscosity during processing. Also, the fact that drug remains in a crystalline form, it makes their extrudate very stable. GATFOC offers two excipients for hot melt extrusion. The first one is Compritol 888 ATO. It's a glyceride d -bainate. It is mainly used as a sustained release matrix, but also can be used as plasticizer for plastic polymer. It has a low melting point, around 70 degrees, and crystallizes rapidly, around 69. It conforms EPUSB monographs and also has a grass status and has many references in FDA IIG. The other one is Gelucia 4816. This one is a PEG 30 to sterate. It is mainly used for solubility enhancement, but also has a weighting agent. Melting point is around 48 degrees and crystallization 32. It conforms EP and USP monograph. In this slide, you see that Compritol 888 ATO has been used in different uh, formulations made by hot melt extrusion as a sustained release agent with niacin, metformin, hydrochloride, and ibuprofen. Different interesting uh, information on this slide. Firstly, that we can have a very high drug load, and with ibuprofen, we got 90% of ibuprofen with only 10% of Compritol. And the dissolution curve here show you that with only 10% of Compritol, you obtain granules with a very nice sustained release profile. Also, one of the interesting information is the temperature range for all this formulation from die to feed were maximum 67 degree to 60 degree. The second example is with Gelucia 4816, used has solubility enhancer. Here it is with ibuprofen and it shows you that uh, this Gelucia matrix made by hot melt extrusion uh, permits to enhance the ibuprofen solubility in pH 1.2. This is a HME quick setup if you want to test this solid lipid in hot melt extrusion. 
there are two uh, temperature profiles depending on which lipids you are going to use. Compritolate 88 temperature profile go from 60 to 68. Gelucia 48 16 temperature profile go from 30 to 38. Of course, you will need to adapt your, your feed rate and screw speed. To end this presentation, I just would like to come back on the key benefits using solid lipid in extrusion. Firstly, uh, you are going to have a low melt viscosity resulting in low torque, low extrusion temperature from 30 to 70 depending on the lipid. You have uh, instant solidification, thereby avoiding downstream cooling. And also, you can get either a high sustainability drug load potential, up to 90% of drug. And also, if you use Gelucia, you can have a great benefits using uh, solubility enhancement. Also, twin screw extruder can be used for melt granulation, as you can see in this picture. Okay, so see you soon for another tech chat.